Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to New Zor Education. Uh, today we will solve a couple of geometric problems and uh, prove a theorem which is the base for solutions to these problems. Um, now, construction problems in geometry uh, are very, very important. They are excellent tool to develop your creativity. Um, so, today we will solve a couple of construction problems might be a little bit unusual um, for you. Now, before, in a classical um, geometry, construction problems were usually solved using two very important tools, straight ruler and a compass. In this particular case, I would like to talk about a couple of problems which uh, involve only the straight ruler. So, you have only one tool at your disposal, and you have to do something significant. Again, nothing practical about this, obviously. It's all to develop your creativity, your ability to come up with a very interesting solution based on whatever you have already learned before. Okay, so today will be a lesson called Geometry 09, part of Math Plus and Problems a course presented on unizor.com. On unizor.com you also can find a prerequisite course called Math for Teens, basically classical uh, course of mathematics for, um, well, primarily high school students. In some cases a little bit above, sometimes a little bit before that, but generally speaking, high school students. Um, now, I suggest you to watch this lecture from the website because Every lecture has not only video presentation, but also the textual part, like a textbook, a detailed textbook, which is very important for you to read, maybe even before you watch the lecture, uh, because you can always uh, uh, read about the problem and then think about solution yourself, which is extremely important. Um, even if you don't come up with a solution, it's still important to think. That's the basic exercise, right? Okay, so, um, first we will start with the theorem, which I'm going to prove, and then that will be the base of construction problems. Here is the theorem. Consider you have two parallel lines and a point outside. So you just draw two lines which cross these parallel lines. Basically, whatever you have here, A, B, C, D, M. Now, A, B, C, D is, well, A, C, D, B is actually a trapezoid, because these are parallel, and these are two um, uh, line uh, non-parallel to each other, they, they intersect at M. Now, you have two diagonals of this trapezoid. And then you draw the line from M through this point of intersection of two diagonals, M, N, M, N. So let's call it P and Q. So my theorem is that M, N divides both um, uh, a, B, and C, D in half. So A, N is equal to N, B, C, P is equal to P, D. I'm going to prove it. Okay, at that point I suggest you to pause the video and think about yourself, try to prove it. Basically it's all about similarity of different triangles. Just to make myself, my job a little easier, I would put some letters A, B, X, Y. Or, you know what, I think in my textual description I did it the other way around. I'll do it like I put it in the text on the, on the website. I think this is X, Y, and this is A, B. Doesn't really matter. Now, let's think about it. There are a lot of equal angles because the lines are parallel, right? For example, uh, 
this angle and this angle because lines are parallel and this is the one which is crossing same thing here so let's consider two triangles MCP and MAN all angles are exactly the same so triangles are similar from similarity of triangles follows the proportionality of the sides of these triangles so two sides X to A is like MP to MN right these are small and these are bigger so X to A as MP to MN okay similarly let's consider triangles on the right side of this MN line MPD and MNB exactly the same story exactly the same angles are let's say this one is equal to this one and this one is equal to this one same story so y to b is as mp to mn the same thing by the way mp to mn and from which we have that this is x over a right mn to m to mp mp to mn is exactly the same so these are the same okay what other triangles can be compared okay let's say within the trapezoid this triangle opposite to this one again angles this angle is equal to this angle these are vertical so again we have all angles are equal so again let's just think about proportionality so in this triangle y uh, opposite to this angle and a is opposite to, to this angle so y divided by a equals to let's say opposite to this angle pq and uh, opposite to the same angle qn okay so these triangles we have already taken care of now these triangles cpq a Q, B, N. This and this. Exactly the same thing, exactly the same proportionality. So it's X to B as PQ, PQ opposite to this angle and QM. PQ, QM. The same thing. So it's equal to y over a. Well, that's it. From here on, everything is just pure algebraic manipulation. Let's write it down here. x a equals to y over b. And y over a is equal to x over b. So from here, x times b equals y times a. From this, y times b equals a times x, or x times a. Now, all these numbers, x, 
y, a, and b are positive real numbers because they are lengths of the segments, right? So everything is simple. Just divide one equation by another. What do we have here? b cancels out, x over y is equal to a cancels out, y over x. Or x squared equals y squared, or x is equal to, to y. Again, these are positive integer uh, real numbers, so I can extract square, square root of from both sides. And if x is equal to y, obviously a is equal to b, from here, for example. If x equals to y, then a must be equal to b. So a is equal to b and x is equal to y. So the theorem is proven. This is the end of it. Now the next thing which is based on this theorem is a problem which is a construction problem which must be solved using only the straight line ruler. Okay, so here is the problem. Two parallel lines are given and given a segment on one of these lines. The task is using only the straight line ruler divide this segment in two equal parts. How can we do it? Well, we will use this theorem. We will choose any point outside somewhere, M. We will connect this point to A and B. We will draw diagonals in this trapezoid. And we will draw the line through the intersection point of diagonals. And using this theorem, we know that this equal to this, and this is equal to this. That's it. That's the very easy construction uh, of dividing, basically, uh, using the, uh, only, the, only the ruler, because we only do the straight lines here. We, don't, we are not using this, uh, the, uh, the compass. We don't draw any circles here. And we still are able to divide this um, segment in two. But what was important, it's not just any segment. We have first two parallel lines. And that's the condition. I said in the beginning, we have two parallel lines, and there is a segment on one of them. So then you can do it using this parallelism. Otherwise, without the second parallel line, you will not be able to use this type of construction. And Probably, I don't know, but I think you cannot really divide uh, in half um, any kind of a segment if there is no help using additional parallel line. I mean, that's a different problem, and I'm not sure it's, it, has, it has a solution. All right. Next problem. Well, next problem is instead of, we divide, instead of dividing such a segment in two, let's just double the size of the segment okay how can we do that again using only the rule straight line look at it this way again we have two parallel lines this is my a b now i will do slightly different thing I will have another segment here, CD, any segment, well, not equal to, preferably, uh, to the one which you have. And using the previous solution, using these two parallel lines, I can divide this segment in two, the way how I was just explaining. How? Well, take any point somewhere here on that side, draw two lines and then yeah I have trapezoid have diagonals and draw the line in between through intersection of um, diagonals I get this point okay let's call it P okay now 
what I do, I will connect this to this and this B and this to this then what happens is the following um, now I know that I already have equal so I will have here also equal but that would divide it in, in half I don't want to divide it in half I want to actually um, uh, double, double the size of it so um, instead of that what I should do is uh, I have to really use um, uh, our point B should be here, right? And then, and then that would be B prime would be double, right? So how to do the construction if I am given the, the, the a b from the beginning again I have to have significantly bigger uh, segment on another on another line another parallel line okay so that was uh, that was my analysis now the real construction so if I have a b here well let's make it smaller I have a b here on another parallel line, I have to have a bigger CD. Now, I know how to divide it in half. I divide it in half. Now, I do this. Oops. I don't need this anymore. I do this. I already have this midpoint, right? because I know how to divide this segment in, in half. And this, that would be my point M. Then if I connect this to this, that would be B prime. This would be equal to this. For exactly the same, uh, basically, reason. Because, obviously, again, since uh, lines are parallel, angles are equal, angles are equal, so triangles are similar, which means this goes to this, as, as this to this, so CP uh, to AB as PM uh, to BM. And these triangles are also similar. So <coughs> PD to BB prime as the same thing, PM to BM. So these are equal, so these are equal. And since CP is equal to PD, a B should be equal to B B prime. So it's exactly the same kind of um, considerations as I was using in the theorem in, uh, in the beginning of this lecture. And it allows to double the segment. So not only we can divide it in half, that was my first construction problem, and we also can double the size of the segment. And incidentally, if we can double the size, we can actually multiply it by any number n. We can triple, we can quadruple, etc. How? Well, if you can double this segment, you can double this segment, and that would be a triple, right? Or you can double then again this segment, and that would be quadruple. So you can basically increase the length of the segment by any uh, integer number of times. But again, everything is possible only because you have two parallel lines in the very beginning. So that's it. So what, we, what did we do today? We have 
uh, one theorem which we have proven, and from this we can we, we, we have come up with uh, ways to using only the straight line ruler do basically different things like divide the uh, uh, one particular uh, segment in two or double the segment. Okay, so that's it. That's it for today. I suggest you to um, to read the notes for this lecture. You go to unisor.com. The course is called Mass Plus and Problems. Choose geometry as a category and this is geometry 09. Read it again. Try to digest the theorem and what's very important and I am very very strongly suggest you to do try to write down the proof of this theorem um, somehow somehow similar to whatever I have uh, written in the description of this lecture write it yourself without looking at my description it helps not only you to understand better it helps you to be able to convince somebody else in certain topic which you consider to be correct and that's a completely universal quality not completely not related to uh, to math magics it's very important to be able to logically convince somebody else that your opinion is correct so writing down the proof of this theorem and trying not to miss any points obviously so nobody can ask you why you know why you just say it. because similarity because of something else it's very important quality so i do suggest you to to do this exercise that's it for today thank you very much and good luck